Shalom, 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 everybody. Greetings to all of you in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the living God, Jehovah El Shaddai, the God who made heaven and earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the only true God who dwells among the cherubim, God who inhabits eternity. He is the I and the lofty ones. He is the God of Israel. God who raised Jesus Christ, our Lord, from the dead. The book of John, the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 3. The Bible says, And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. This moment, I am standing here as a servant of God to tell you that God of heaven is not training you with sickness. God is not training you with disease. God is not training you with tuberculosis. God will never train you with bipolar disorder. God we never train you with diabetes. God will never train you with any disease that you have seen around here or any disease that have names or no names. God will never train his children with sickness and disease. It is the enemy that puts sickness, disease on people. Or, let's say, sickness and disease might come from natural means, or by any means, or by from the hand of the enemies. Unfortunately, some of the sicknesses, or most of the sicknesses, I believe, are from the evil one. But, the world system will use the medical names to cover this disease up. The Bible says, who has believed our report? Let me tell you, you if you have a child and your child is sick, seriously hurting, the next thing you want to do, if you have the, problem, the, the money, you want to take the child to, to the hospital to take care of that child. In the same way, God does not want his children to suffer in life. The Bible says, if you been evil, know how to, to give good things to your children. How much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Ghost to those who ask him or give good things to those who ask him? Healing is a good thing. The Bible says healing is the children's food, children's bread. And it's a gift of God. It's a gift of God. It is one of the benefits of redemption. It is one of the reasons why Christ was beaten. One of the reasons why Christ had to die on the cross. Do not let anybody or yourself tell you that maybe God is training you in faith with sickness. Let me tell you, sickness is both enemy of God and enemy of human. Because, number one, if you are sick seriously in your body, you will not be able to go to work. And you will not have, even have the money, finances, to support the kingdom of God. And the Bible says, let thy kingdom come. The word of God says, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, there is no sickness in heaven. There is no disease in heaven. There is no madness in heaven. There is no bipolar disease in, disease in heaven. There is healing, prosperity, long life in heaven. The Bible says God is light and in him there is no sickness at all. There is no darkness at all. There is no sickness in God. There is no disease in God. There is no poverty in God. There is no affliction in God. I pray for you right now if I be a servant of God. That in the name of Jesus, the power of sin over you is broken now in Jesus' name. The power of poverty over your life is broken now in Jesus' name. I pray for you. The desire of the enemy against you shall not come to pass. Shall not come to pass. The enemy that you know or the one that you don't even know, their plans against you shall not come to pass. The Bible says, upon this rock I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Shout unto God and cry aloud for mercy. Oh God, do not let the hand of the enemy prevail against my life. 
I pray for you. Your enemy shall not prevail against you. They shall all be put to shame. The Bible says, evil shall slay the wicked. And those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. Ask for the mercy of God from now on and for the rest of your life. I pray for you. The mercy and the glory of God will preserve your life in Jesus' name. Please share this video with your friends and save lives. Once again, my name is Ezekiah, your friend and a man of God. Shalom.